Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-innovation.com. So guys, today in this video, we will be talking about how we can download and install Selenium in Windows. So in the previous lectures, we already discussed about so many things about Python, right? So now it's time to implement the same concept in Selenium. As of now, we will only implement in Selenium. But yes, once we move ahead, we will be using the same concept for API performance and multiple things. So first of all, we need to install Selenium in order to automate our web application. So let's see how we can download and install Selenium with Python. So there are two ways I will show you. I will show you both the ways. So the first and the one of the easiest way is you can see the terminal, right? Now you just need to install a Selenium package. Now, how do you get to know about this package? Very easy. Just you need to navigate to their official website. So you just need to remember only one site just search for selenium and you will get their official site which is selenium.dev now just click on download and in the download section you can see we have option for multiple languages so you can see we have option for ruby java python c sharp and javascript right now we are focusing on python very important point as you can see the stable version which we have right now at the time of recording is 3.141.0 and this was the release date. right now we also have an alpha version which is 4.0.0 a6 post 1 which actually released uh, recently so it's totally up to you do you want to go with the latest alpha version or do you want to go with uh, stable version so as of now let's stick to the latest we will go with this but in case if you want to go with stable it's totally up to you so right now i will open each and every link and i will show you so first of all let me open the download link and you can see we got one option here can you see we got selenium 3.141.0 so you can go ahead and just use this command to install selenium but if you just see uh, alpha download you will see one option they have also given in case if you want to download a specific version you just need to say equal to equal to and just provide provide the version here so okay so it's totally up to you do you want to go with this or this we will continue with this as of now so that we can use the latest feature which is provided by selenium perfect now it is very important to know the apis right what kind of apis they have provided to us so we will be using the same so as you can see they have given very beautiful documentation the moment you click on selenium package api you will be redirected to the selenium documentation so don't worry we will be using them so you will see soon we will be using this action chains alert by keys touch action and so on so don't worry i will cover but in case if you're interested you're curious about all these things please go ahead and see this documentation now let me do one thing let me simply copy to clipboard and i will go back to pycharm and i will simply use Control v or if you're on mac you can say command v and hit enter okay it will take few seconds and it will install selenium in your windows so it will take some time to download and it's taking yes almost done so you can see it is installing the selenium package and we will be able to use it so this was our project and you can see it's successfully installed these packages which is selenium and few other packages so let's do one thing i will create a separate package now once it is installed, right, I just need to verify whether this is installed properly or not. So what I will do, I will invoke a browser and I will simply cross check whether my Selenium scripts are working fine or not. So I will go ahead and create a package. In this package, uh, let's say I will say Selenium scripts. So this is our package. Now let's create a Python file and we will be writing our first Selenium program. So what I will do, I will create a new Python file as usual and I will give this as first selenium script. Just hit enter and you will get your Python file ready. So before we move ahead, let's cross verify whether selenium is added into a project or not. So what you can do, just go to your project, whatever project you have. In our case, it is Python tutorials. I will scroll down and I can see one option called external libraries, right? I will simply expand this and you will find multiple options, DLL libraries, site packages. So just expand the site packages 
and you will find multiple packages which is available. You just need to search for Selenium package that we installed just now and here we go. So this is our package that we installed and if you expand you will find all the sub packages and the modules. You can see we have common and we have web driver. So we will be using this uh, a lot Selenium web driver. So don't worry, we'll see one by one. Yeah. So we have cross verified. It's available in external libraries, and now we are good to go. So let me simply close this, and let's write our first Selenium program. So first of all, we installed a separate package. So we need to import, right? So as I showed you, we have Selenium now, right? So I will say from Selenium, and you can see now we are getting as auto suggestion because we installed. Hit enter. And now we need to import web driver so just type web driver and you can see it is giving us option to import web driver now once you import you you are good to go you just need to say web driver and now depends on the requirement which browser you want to invoke you want to work with chrome firefox opera any other browser just click on dot and you can see we are getting all these options right so right now we want to deal with let's say chrome so you can see we have a dedicated class here so i will just say chrome and simply i will call chrome now it will return me one object right so let me store this object into a driver variable you can name it whatever you want to name you can give abc xyz or anything just for good naming convention i'm keeping a driver now let me run this okay i'm not making any changes i'm just writing webdriver.chrome and let's see what happens so just right click and just run your script and you can see we got one exception now so you can see we got one webdriver exception and what exactly it says that you need chrome driver okay in order to work with chrome you need chrome driver in order to work with firefox we need gecko driver so it says it has to be available in your path and thanks to selenium guys they're also giving us the location from where we can download so you can see this now if you don't want to go with this easiest way is always go to download right which i showed you just now selenium.dev downloads come down here and you will find one option called browsers here you will find all the drivers that you need so right now let's say i want to invoke chrome so I will click on Chrome documentation and you will see here they have the beta release and the stable release. So I will just download the stable release which I need. So I will click on Chrome 85 and now we have three options Linux, Mac and Windows. So guys even if you have Windows 32 or 64 this driver will work. So they don't have dedicated drivers for 64 but this Win32 works for both. So don't worry just download this. It will download uh, a small file 5 MB we will simply extract and we will provide the path okay so just do one thing click on show in folder and uh, let's do one thing let's extract here okay and you can see I got this file right Chrome driver what I will do I will simply copy the path I will press shift from the keyboard and right click you can see I got this copy as path Otherwise, you can go to properties and get the path. Now, how do we provide this path? Very easy. You just type here executable path and you can see it's already coming as auto suggestion. And here you can simply provide the path. Now, when you're working with windows, you use one forward slash or two backward slash. I'm using two backward slash. Okay, and we are good to go now. Just right click and run your Python program and you can see it started our chrome so congratulations this is how you can invoke your first browser with the help of selenium with python now let's see what exactly this driver is so as i told right once you call chrome it is going to return your driver so how you will get to know what exactly this driver is so let's do one thing let's understand what exactly this driver is so as we have discussed right we have a type so if you want to know the type of anything you simply call a type function and pass the specific variable which you want to know okay so in my case i want to know what is the type of this driver 
So I will simply run and you will see uh, output. Let's quickly go and see. And you can see now this is an object of web driver type. Can you see? So this belongs to this particular package and this is an object of web driver. It means now you can perform any operation on this browser and you can access all the methods of this web driver. So let me show you a few methods of this web driver. It's very interesting. So the first step that we need to do is we need to launch an application, right? So we need to provide the URL. So we will say driver dot and just you need to call a get method. So in the get method, you can see it all belongs to web driver. You can see on the right hand side, we have few more methods which is coming from Chromium driver. For the time being, simply ignore them. As of now, we will only focus only on the web driver one. So what I will do, I will simply pass any URL. So let's say the famous one which everybody use. I will just type google.com and let's see. So once it is done, maybe I will simply remove this uh, type part or maybe I will keep it here. Just a second. Control X and yes, I will keep it here. Now, once it is done, I simply want to, let's say I want to capture the title. So again, I will say driver and here you can see the moment I use T, you can see I'm getting an option to capture the title. So this will return me the title as a string, which I can store into a variable. So let's say I will say my page title and I can use for further validations. As of now, I'm not using for validation. I will simply print it. So I will say print and I will say my page title. And once you're done, I will simply close this browser. So I will say driver.quit. So driver.quit will close this particular browser instance. So quit is a method of web driver. In case if you want to know like what exactly it is, we have already discussed what you can do. You can say driver dot quit and just remove this parenthesis. Okay. Now let's run this and let's see what exactly the output we are getting. So it will start google.com. It will capture the title and it will close. So as you can see, page title, we are getting Google, right? And when I say, give me driver dot quit, see, I'm not calling the method. I'm just printing what exactly uh, this is all about okay so when i say driver dot quit and when i don't give parenthesis it will tell you what exactly it is so it says it's a bound method of web driver can you see and right now it is connected with a session and this is a session id so don't worry we will discuss all these things in detail one by one so for the time being just remember three things get is a method of web driver which will start the application quit is a again method of web driver which will close the application or close your browser okay and when you say dot title it is going to return you the title and i'm printing it we can again use for some validation and in case if you want to know what exactly this quit is you can simply say print driver dot quit now let me just comment it out because we have seen the print now let me quickly do assert because our test automation is again of no use if you don't put assert. So let me quickly uh, put one assert so that we'll get to know. So what I will do instead of printing, I will say assert. Okay. And in the assert, what we will do, we will first of all give our expected. So our expected is Google. But how do we validate we need the actual result so actual result anyways we are getting here right my page title so i will say my page title if google is available in my page title it will pass otherwise it will fail okay so let's do one thing i will run two scenarios one is positive one is negative so let's do this as negative so i will give a small g so it is going to assert google with this page title so let's run it and you can see it failed it says assert google in my page title so we got the assertion error because it is not able to verify so assertion error when 
this assertion is failed and you can see since this assertion is failed it is not executing the next statement so it is not closing our browser fine so let's do one thing let's put our actual versus expected both same so in this case it should continue and it should close my browser as well so let's run it once again and here we go it actually did the assert part and finally it closed my browser as well so this is how you can start so don't worry this was very basic we just installed selenium we created our first script with chrome in the next sessions we'll talk about firefox opera and other browsers we just called our get method quit and we called one property called title so if you see in case if you want to know what exactly is title you just put mouse over on that okay and click and you will get to know what exactly it is all about so it's a separate property and in case if you want to know what is quit method put mouse over and click on this and you will see it's a separate method right and you can see the description what exactly this method will do it will close the browser and it will shut down the chromium driver executable that is started so very interesting and it's going to be very useful as well so we'll discuss many things in the next lecture so that was a basic video so guys in case if you're not visited the python series then please go ahead and watch because we already discussed everything in python series now we are going to implement it so in case if you like this video then please like this video and in case if you're new to this channel then please make sure you subscribe this channel let me know your thought in the comment section and in case if you have any other doubt you can send email to my email which is mukeshu20 at the learn-automation.com and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.